All right, we are back with Pokemon Diamond. I got everybody up to level 45. I also found this egg um, while doing some side stuff that doesn't really matter. Um, it was a little cave I could go into and find a bunch of like just random items and a guy gave me an egg at the end and it's just it's nothing important to the story and I've never actually done it before so I just did it real quick to level up off camera um, so I'm actually gonna put this egg away um, and then we're all we're gonna do this part is do the gym which might be pretty quick but um, probably gonna end up having to leave and heal um, just to get power points back because I mean yeah just may have to do that at some point but it should be pretty easy and this is the sixth gym and it's the steel type gym so we should be pretty well off with charm Steel represents an unbending spirit. If one refuses to accept defeat, the path to victory reveals itself. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, so this will be kind of a quick episode because we're getting pretty close to the end. This is badge 6. Um, and then we have badge 7 and 8. And then we have some story stuff to do as well with like the legendary Pokemon. Um, and then what else do we have? And then we just have the Elite Four. And once I beat the Elite Four, I'll be done. So, yeah. Oh, we can't even one-shot, and we're over ten... Charm was subject to torment. What does that mean? Can't use the same... This is... I think this is his only Pokémon, so I'm just gonna use close combat. Because that's gonna... Deal the most damage, but I only have five of them, so I don't want to use that too much. Because then I'll really have to go back and heal a lot. But since it used Torment on me, that's the only thing that's going to do anything. I never give up, but still, I failed to win. Yeah, and I've got a lot of healing items if I need them. Pokemon Gym isn't only about seeing how tough you are. It's so much deeper than just that. It's a test of you as a person. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to use Rock Smash. Okay, so I remember this being really weird. It's like you go on here and it takes you up or down. I think that was the right one. I'm going to check the other ones just to see where they go. See like this one and then this one takes me back down here for some reason. And then where does this one go? This one goes down here. See, I may end up going back and fighting some of the uh, trainers over again or not over again just um, maybe backtracking because if I make it to the end before I get to the if I get to the gym leader before I fought all the trainers I want to go back and fight the trainers I'm not going to switch. Charmp all the way. 
Even if it is a Steelix. Now Steelix, as opposed to Onyx, has good defense, but that's really its only good stat. <laughs> and now it's burned, so its attack is even lessened. Sandstorm is going to hit me once for a little bit of damage. Yes. More level ups. Wow, I'm in the mood to sing a lullaby. What does that mean? I don't know what you mean by that. It's kind of weird, man. Okay, so that didn't lead anywhere. So I was right. Okay. So this goes here. This goes here. And the one I need to go through is this one. Which will lead me around. Up and down you go on the lifts. Me? I like to battle. Alright, we're gonna... Rock smash this Onyx. Wow, this one's almost 20 levels below us. Is that what they're all gonna be? So that was 28. This one's 28. And then is it gonna be like a level 30 Steelix or something? I have a feeling. Ow. Slam. I might not need to heal. Because we're doing good on power points, and I don't think there are that many more trainers. Like, this may be the last trainer in the gym before the actual gym leader. <laughs> You've got me feeling down. Oh. Wait a minute. So... How? I have to get to that one. How did I do that? And then I go over here, which brings me over this way. Brings me down. Oh, up. Okay. I'm figuring it out. It's just a little tricky. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah, because I've still got 20, 21 flame wheels. Still got a bunch of close combats, which close combat will probably end the... Um, the gym fight. I'll probably need to use one of my, like, hyper potions right before the gym leader. But other than that, like, I should be good. I won't need to heal. like I'm super excited to play this game and I really like it even though I haven't played it in a long time 
Um, Cause see, it's not this generation. It's going to be the next generation, generation five. I've never, I own generation five, but I've never completed it. Cause I have, I think like, I either got white one and black two or black one and white two, something like that. When I went out, cause I bought them at the same time. Um, but I never completed either of them. I started them both, but never completed either of them. So I'll be really excited to do those when I get to those. But I have a lot of other games lined up to do before I get to that. I, uh, we're coming out swinging with super heavy judo chops. Steelix. Sweet. Yeah, the next generation is going to be really interesting because I hardly know it at all. I've never played it all the way through. Because I remember... The only thing I really remember about it is that the map is kind of like a loop and you have to go like up to the one and then fly back and then go up to the other side. But by the time I got from the bottom of the loop to the top, first time and had to fly back I had missed fly and I had just been playing so much Pokemon at that time where I was like I don't want to go back and find fly I certainly don't want to walk all the way around just to go the other way I'm just I'm just done and then I never picked it back up but I kind of wanted to keep it a secret for myself until I um until I play it like for you guys so, it'll be a good, it'll be a good experience that we can all share. Ace Trader Brianna. Azumarill? What the heck? Alright, weirdo. I'll play along. Oh, it's just using Steel-type moves. I was like, why the heck do you have a Zoomeril? Yeah, I never knew that Steel was weak against Electric until very recently. Because it's not a type matchup that happens very often. Um, but I think I was playing like a ROM hack or something, and it just happened to come along that somebody used a steel type attack on one of my electric type Pokemon. <laughs> Alrighty. Yes. See, this takes us to the gym leader right there. Alright, I need to heal just my HP. Alright, where'd all those potions go? Hyper potions. Because hyper potions are enough to heal all of my Pokemon up fully. Ah, that's the Auroberg Gym Badge. I see, I see, you've defeated my son. But that's no surprise, he still has much to learn. In place of my son Rourke, I, Byron, will take your challenge. All right, so we got the steel type gym leader. Bum 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 bum. Ooh, Bronzor, really? It's 
kind of a weak start. Only level 36. I should be able to take it with a take it out with a flame wheel. I've one shot bronze ores with flame wheel that were closer in level to me. Does bronze ore evolve at all? I don't know. All right. Bastiodon. Okay. I'm going to use close combat. Because that's going to be... Let's see, 120 times 4. So that would be 480 base power. Even though my defense and special defense are going to go down. That's like... There's no way that that Bastiodon survives that attack. <laughs> I might do the same thing for Steelix, because that'll be super effective. It'll be only 240, because he's steel and ground, but still, that's going to be... And it's stab. I'll do it, because it's going to be more powerful than Flame Wheel. Because even though Flame Wheel is stab as well, Flame Wheel is only a certain amount. All right, but now my defenses are down again. Oh, Ice Fang? That's not going to do much at all. Even with my defense being down two stages. And that was a crit. All right. We're just going to Flame Wheel. Oh, of course you did. I should have used Flame Wheel. Close combat. I thought it might one shot, but flame wheel. Oh, flame wheel doesn't even do half. All right, so I'll do flame wheel and then close combat. Yep, that took it out. So that's badge six. Hmm, my sturdy Pokemon defeated. You were strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this, the Mind Badge. I got the Mind Badge. Having the Mind Badge enables you to use the hidden move strength any time outside of battle. You now have six Gym Badges. That means all Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you without question. Here, take this too. Lots of this. Contains flash cannon. If it hits, it may lower the target's special defense. Okay. It's a steel type move. Steel isn't really, like, super effective against much. I think it's super effective against rock type. But I think that might be it. So I can leave here now. Oh! Hey! That's the mind badge! Good going! Tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not actually going to happen. Anyways, Lando, come with me to the library. Okay, we will do that in the next part. Because I really got to get moving on this. I'm just going to go heal and save. And then we'll move on. Because the next part is kind of a long and involved like story part. And then I think we just... After the long and involved story part, I think we pretty much just sweep to the end. Like, should be. All right, cool. So we've healed. Let's do a quick save here. All right, yeah. So next time we'll do all the extra story stuff that's coming up. And um, I'll see you then. Bye, guys. All right, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that right up here. And um, if you want to watch a random video from the channel, you can do that right up here. And then I'll put a link to my Discord down at the bottom here. So thank you all so much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!